and we're going to have 50 new legislators um, in the building, thanks to term limits, mm -hmm. which uh, for a lobbyist, I'll just tell you that's a nightmare um, on complicated issues, you know, like the, the minimum foundation program, which is a very complicated funding mechanism for public schools, public pensions, which is a very, not a black and white issue always, um, healthcare, obviously a very complex policy issue. And um, most new legislators think that the only reason we haven't fixed everything before is because they weren't here before. <laughs> and so it takes them um, a couple months in some cases, and in some cases, a couple of years to figure out that everyone else had good intentions too. Sure. And just really hard problems. But yeah, we're not doing much. Um, and when I say we're not doing much, I don't mean that our legislators are not working hard. They're working mm -hmm. very hard. We're just having a hard time coming to an agreement on, I'll admit it, on things that don't seem very important in light of what's going on with the budget. Um, I think for some people, you know, um, refereeing a battle between florists and um, people who would like to be florists just doesn't feel like a very important matter right now um, when we have so many other, you know, major, major issues happening. Yeah. So, so, so what's in your opinion, uh, I mean, it sounds like we're moving more towards uh, DC politics. I mean, obviously people have said that uh, on our program and you, know, you read that. I mean, what is it? Is it because in your, in your opinion, is it because we have two, two extremes as we do in, I think in DC and, and the two extremes are not able to see eye to eye. Is that the issue? I think we have a strange confluence of events in Louisiana. That's ju again, just a little bit different. I said earlier, um, I think before we were really recording that, consultants from all over the country, you know, I'm working on a race in Ohio right now, they'll tell you that um, Louisiana is different when it comes to politics. And I, I, you know, being a transplant, I've been here for 10 years, maybe after 20 people will accept me, <laughs> you know, accept, let me into the fold, but it really is different. Personal stories really matter here. And that gives me a lot of hope for, um, for our state's ability to withstand that um, very divisive, you know, political stuff. I think one thing we have going on for us that's really different from everywhere else is we have, we're, there's always big divides in politics. I think technology has made it easier to divide people and to speak to their more base instincts, um, to make them single issue voters, to make them single issue people, single issue humans. Um, but we also have the um, entrance of the real influence of term limits happening at the same time as all of this other stuff that's influencing politics from the outside. And so um, we, we, had, we had the ability before, even when the political makeup of, let's say, a, a state Senate district might be changing on the federal level, we had very strange politics in Louisiana where if a blue Senate district started to move red on the federal level, they might stay blue and stick with their state senator who was a registered Democrat for another 20 years, even as they trended red. And so um, because of term limits, we just have, um, I think, more clamoring to get far to the left and more clamoring to get far to the right. I think we see which strategy is winning in most of Louisiana. And the reason for me why all this matters as a voter, you know, separating myself from what I do for a living is that in 2020, we will do redistricting in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So our 2019 elections are, you know, I just had my first baby. He's nine months old. And what we do in 2019 will impact what his state legislature is doing when he registers to vote for the first time at 18. Um, because many of the people who get elected in 2019 will still be around if let's say they're they run for state house they will serve their three terms and then by the time he registers to vote they'll be state senators um, so we could very well in 2018 we could be selecting the senate president um, 
you know, when my, my son is 18 years old. And so um, I think about the generational politics of, of these kinds of elections. And I think about how much redistricting matters and how much fair redistricting is important to making sure the state be, remains representative of the people that actually live here um, and actually live in each, especially in our congressional districts. It's very, very important. Um, I think the common voter maybe doesn't, they're so, everybody's so busy in their normal lives, they don't think about that kind of stuff, you know, that it really matters. Redistricting really matters and getting it right really matters because these are the people who bring home federal dollars for infrastructure that we're going to elect. These are the people that get committee assignments, um, that get um, clout in DC to be able to do things for Louisiana that we really need. Um, so drawing these lines correctly so that the person who's there actually represents the district, um, it can be the difference between a new highway um, and not, which can be the difference between getting new industry and not, which can be the difference between ending, you know, improving joblessness and not. And so it really does um, make a big, big difference and it really matters. Um, it's easy for me to say I'm a chronic voter. You know, I show up for every special, every, I never miss it. Um, I wish I could convince more people to understand how much it really does matter to put their voice in the bucket and make sure that the people who represent them get a full picture of what their district really wants. Um, but 2019, there's going to be 50 new legislators, <laughs> which gives me a headache. I feel nauseous almost just thinking about trying to educate 50 new people on complex issues that really impact everybody's daily life. Um, you can probably tell I'm not a big fan of term limits already. <laughs> yeah, you, 